Welcome to Midday Prayer on Wednesday in Holy Week. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Lord Christ, you came on us to shine, true light from the eternal night. And now the Father's brightness rests on those who long have dwelt in night. O oh, see how all that lives and breathes True homage gives in deed and word the glory of Almighty God, the Father's image, Christ our Lord. To you, O saving three in one, let homage due by all be done. And grant us by the cross restored To share the victor's great reward. Amen. Psalm 127 and 128. Unless the Lord builds the house, those who build it labour in vain. Unless the Lord keeps the city, the guard keeps watch in vain. It is vain that you have hastened to rise up early and go so late to rest, eating the bread of toil. For he gives his beloved sleep. Children are a heritage from the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his gift. Like arrows in the hand of a warrior, so are the children of one's youth. Happy are those who have their quiver full of them. They shall not be put to shame when they dispute with their enemies in the gate. Blessed are all those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. You shall eat the fruit of the toil of your hands it shall go well with you, and happy shall you be. Your wife within your house shall be like a fruitful vine. Your tip children round your table like fresh olive branches. Thus shall the one be blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord from out of Zion bless you, that you may see Jerusalem in prosperity all the days of your life. May you see your children's children, and may there be peace upon Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to St John. Jesus was troubled in spirit and declared, Very truly I tell you, one of you will betray me. 
The disciples looked at one another, uncertain of whom he was speaking. One of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining next to him. Simon Peter therefore motioned to him to ask Jesus of whom he was speaking. So while reclining next to Jesus, he asked him, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I give this piece of bread when I have dipped it in the dish. So when he had dipped the piece of bread, he gave it to Judas, son of Simon Iscariot. After he received the piece of bread, Satan entered into him. Jesus said to him, Do quickly what you are going to do. Now no one at the table knew why he had said this to him. Some thought that because Judas had the common purse, Jesus was telling him, Buy what we need for the festival, or that he should give something to the poor. So after receiving the piece of bread, he immediately went out, and it was night. And when he had gone, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and will glorify him at once. Here ends the Gospel. We get a rather interesting picture of the Last Supper. The beloved disciple, perhaps St John, is reclining near Jesus in the position of what could be the favourite in many feasts. Peter, as the leader of the Apostles, is trying to take charge of what's happening. And then there's Judas. Judas who, is probably quietly getting on with his meal, trying not to be noticed, but ultimately he will, will be the one that will be noticed by his absence and by his betrayal of Jesus. The disciple who had literally the ear of Jesus, the one who was able to ask him to interpret what he'd said, is a picture of what it means to be a true disciple, one who literally is close to Jesus. Peter was the one who, as some people often say, opened his mouth to change feet occasionally. One who meant well, but could be irrational and a bit too zealous at times. And then Judas, Someone did a management analysis on the disciples and they decided that Judas would be the best manager. It's a bit of a shocking reflection on managers. But at the end of the day, his goal was to bring about revolution in Israel. And when Jesus didn't, deliver. He was quite happy to literally drop him in it. Perhaps with a sinister thought that the people might rise up and rescue Jesus if he was taken prisoner. One last throw of the dice. And 
I wonder which one of the disciples we are. I know we'd all like to be the beloved disciple. But I'll be a Peter, impetuous, determined to get things sorted out so we can move on. Or a Judas, having our own agenda, which was not Jesus' agenda. Holy Week, Paul asks us to pause and think about our journey with Jesus. A journey that will take us on to the Last Supper tomorrow. The events of the crucifixion on Good Friday and the burial of Jesus. To the events of Saturday night when the light of Christ literally returns in our calendar to the world. Walk gently. Amen. Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. Now is the judgment of this world. Now shall the ruler of this world be cast out. I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. As Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Let us pray. Let us pray to the Lord, who is our refuge and stronghold, for the health and well-being of our nation, that all who are fearful and anxious may be at peace and free from worry. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the isolated and the housebound, that we may be alert to their needs and care for them in their vulnerability. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For our homes and families, our schools and young people, and all in any kind of need or distress. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For a blessing on our local community, that our neighbourhoods may be places of trust and friendship, where all are known and cared for. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And bring to mind those who've asked for our prayers at this time. For the sick. And the bereaved. We commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Eternal God, in the cross of Jesus we see the cost of our sin and the depth of your love. In humble hope and fear, may we place at his feet all that we have and all that we are, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
Lord Jesus, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the life-giving cross be the source of all our joy and peace. Amen. you look on YouTube. Tomorrow evening there will be a service, the Eucharist, to commemorate the first ever one. The Eucharist 